Thanks for watching the NCW Life Channel as we interview the top 10 candidates. Our coverage here on the NCW Life Channel brought to you in part by Coldwell Banker Cascade, guiding you home in North Central Washington. And we welcome now candidate Alex Toth, who is the daughter of Andrew and Connie. Hi, Alex. How are you? Hi, I'm good. How are you? Not too bad. Not too bad. <laughs> Getting ready for the pageant and wondering if you could tell us a little bit about yourself. Yes. So I'm a senior at Wenatchee High School. And kind of some stuff that I do is I play volleyball, which is a huge part of my life. Um, I play piano, which is also a huge part of my life. And I love the outdoors. Um, piano. Yes. What got you started playing piano? Oh my goodness. I'm gonna have to say my mom because I started when I was five. Really? So, yeah. So it wasn't really like my own choice. Um, <laughs> but I mean, I She just... wasn't playing and you crawled up on her lap and said, hey, can I do this? Or... Yeah, not a musical prodigy on that <laughs> one. <laughs> but I started playing chopsticks and Mary had a little lamb and that just hooked me and now I play today. So piano and volleyball, it's an interesting kind of uh, 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 mix of, of likes there. But for doing this, you're missing volleyball, right? I mean... Yes, I'm missing some things, but I mean, I've kind of worked it out where I get to do a little bit of ah, both. Good. So that's really good. I know your older sister was yes. part of this whole process. Yes. So what, if any, advice did she give you for this? Um, she, yes, yeah, she did give me some advice. Um, she just said to be myself because um, she's like, I like who you are, so just be yourself. I'm sure other people will too. <laughs> um, Why did you decide to run for Apple Blossom? Was it your sister or was it just something, I mean, because this is a, a big thing to bite a piece of and chew on for a month or plus. Yeah, yeah. Um, initially I was not going to do it um, and then she did it and she uh, had a great experience and I saw all the things that it taught her and I was like, you know what, Like maybe I'll give it a try and if I don't make it, then that's okay, but if I do, then it's an awesome experience. And so now I get to experience it, which is awesome. How did you get, or why did you get involved with Unified Sports? Okay, Unified Sports, oh my gosh, I love Unified Sports. Um, I get to work with these kids who are really some of my best friends and we just play basketball and we play soccer and there's also Unified PE, so I get to work with them during the day. For those who don't know what Unified is, what is it? Um, Unified is just a program where we get to work with special needs kids in our school, but also in our community. So people that graduate after 21, they come back and do the sports. And so we just get to hang out with them for about two hours and play sports and they're super competitive and some of them don't really know how to play. And so we just kind of mess around and get to travel with them. It's really, really special. Yeah. For this pandemic, for you, What's been the most challenging part? Um, the most challenging is kind of connecting with people because I get to connect with my friends that I talk to every day um, on a daily basis, but the people that I see at school that I just specifically saw at school, like in science class or passing in the halls, I don't get to see them anymore. And so I'm like, okay, that's kind of sad. Like I probably won't ever see them again if we don't go back to school. What's the number one thing that adults need to understand about teenagers? Um, I guess that's kind of hard. I would say that they need to understand that we are going through a hard time too and we're just trying to make the best of it, especially in this time now. It's hard, but we're just trying to find the light in this really dark time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, well, it's not too much different for your parents too. I mean, yes. We're trying to figure it out. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, what would you tell someone who's not from here the best thing about the Wenatchee Valley? Ooh, the best thing that I think is all of the outdoors that we have. So we can have like boating or swimming in the Columbia River in the summer. And then we have Mission literally 20 minutes away in the winter. So you just get best of both worlds all year round. And I think that's awesome. It's not a bad thing. It's not. <laughs> so it is February 27th. The pageant's over. Yeah. You're queen. Oh. Who do you thank? Oh my goodness. I would thank my family and friends for helping me get through this process. And then probably all the volunteers and everyone who made this possible, because I know it was not easy to follow all the guidelines and make something like this happen in a pandemic. Um, and they made it work. So I would definitely thank them. Anything else we need to know about Alex before we let you go? Um, uh, not really. I guess I love being outdoors and I'm just so excited to be here and be able to do this. So. Well, best of luck in this process. Thank you. Congratulations on being in the top 10. Thank you. You bet. Alex Toth is one of our candidates that we will see during the Cashmere Valley Bank Royalty Selection Pageant. It's coming up on February 27th. Our countdown to coordination that night starts at 6, and then the pageant at 7 live here on the NCW Life Channel.